Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm William Moa. And I'm Sammy Bringus. Today is Wednesday, April 27th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Let's start off the show by looking back on the boys' volleyball game against Jesuit. Amazing job, guys. CL Community Club is hosting a food drive until May 16th. Drop off any canned or non-perishable food items to the culinary classroom for a chance to earn CO tickets. Five students who, don who donate the most items will also earn a Dutch Bros drink. Attention AP students, are you taking an AP test and looking for ways to study? Well, you're in luck because the library has AP study books. Just be sure to bring your physical student ID card to them to check them out. Juniors and seniors, are you interested in earning a salary for on-the-job training as a California apprentice? If so, come and explore your future job and career opportunities at the Spring 2022 Career and College Fair tomorrow, April 28th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at Valley High School. Take a picture of the screen to get the registration, registration link. It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's time to pass on over to Paula Nashley for your In the News update. Good morning, I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Paul Vargas, and we're here with your In the News update. In Washington State, a school football coach is suing Breberton High School after they fired him for praying on the field. Joseph Kennedy claims that this is in violation of his religious freedom and says, giving up is not in my blood. A decision from the Supreme Court is expected by the end of June. In other news, gas prices are over $4 a gallon. 28 major oil and gas companies, including Shell, Exxon, BP, and Marathon Petroleum gave out $394 million to their chief executives in 2021. The oil industry is boosting fuel on the basis of a spike in crude oil costs, inadequate supplies, and more recently, the Russia-Ukraine war. Recently, speculation about the threat of nuclear weapons has been circulating through the news. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Larov warned that the danger is serious. It is real. You can't underestimate it. He goes on to say how but we are continuing to engage in negotiations with the team delegated by Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, and these contacts will go on. That's all we have for you today. I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Paul Vargas. Back to the Anchors. Thanks, guys. The Amanda Gordonman Future Voice Poetry Contest applications are, due, are open. The deadline to apply is May 1st. Scan the QR code shown to apply or get more information. Today, April 27th, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., Wolfpack Boosters is hosting a fundraiser at Panda Express. Take a picture of the screen for more information. There's been some recent updates to COVID clinics due to the decreased demand of testing. The following EGUS site, EGUSD site testing sites are closed, and new hours for open clinics will be 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm William Moa. And I'm Sammy Bringus. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Denim, Denim Day, Day Wolfpack. Wolfpack.